Hold up. I mean, he had a couple of tough matchups the first two rounds. Now he's got Nash coming at him in this mm -hmm. this round. Loves the, the old veteran kind of. Yeah. Loves the opportunity. What did, what did you make of Nash's ability to play through his swollen right eye? Pretty much from his playing with yeah, the one. That's I think that just you know, kind of personification of who he is. He just you know competitive. Just likes to compete. Uh, would give up that opportunity. Just want to be there. Were there particular points during your coaching career that stand out the most in terms of when you see a player overcoming some type of adversity like that? Is it Michael with the flu, or is there other things that stand out? Yeah, there's about you know, almost every year you see it some some place or another in a, in a playoff situation, which you know, you know, shelling pitching in the Boston. Sox, you know, that, that kind of stuff. You see those things. The guys want to win. You see the opportunity to win. They're going to play through whatever it takes to get there. And you know, that's what makes, you know, sports great. Thanks. You know, I, I guess obviously, you know, with, with age and experience, you learn to appreciate things more, but uh, I wouldn't say that it's increased necessarily my my passion or desire for, you know, winning and being successful. You know, that That's why I'm still here. That's why I'm playing now. That's why I continue to work as hard as I do and plan on playing beyond now is because I still love to play, and that, that hasn't changed. And in the NBA, there isn't anything greater than being in the playoffs, and there, it just doesn't get much better than being in the conference finals and having the opportunity to go to the NBA finals. Uh, very few men have walked in these shoes, you know, when you really think about it and you break down the numbers in NBA history. And, uh, I feel very fortunate to be in this position again. Well, uh, you know, I, I think they've just... Um, you know, continue to buy into uh, you know, doing whatever it takes to win and, you know, scrapping out games and uh, you know, being physical and taking charges and, uh, you know, you see guys making extra passes, you know, Amari Stoudemire's taking charges and, you know, he's doing things that he hasn't done a lot of necessarily in his career previous to now. And so when you see, you know, that type of commitment from a guy of his stature, and, you know, you know Steve's going to do it. Grant Hill's doing the little things. And so they just have more and more guys that are buying into the intangibles. And uh, they know they can score it and shoot the ball. Uh, but they're doing a lot of the little things that, that help you win. And those are things we're going to have to counteract. You know, we can't let them out, scrap us, out hustle us, you know, dive on the floor before us, take more charges than us. Uh, those are going to be things that we have to beat them uh, in those categories in order to win this series.